Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all are tuning in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. Got this in the mail yesterday. It's an eBay purchase. Let's see how sharp that thing is. Ooh, I love it. Buck 722 Spitfire. That is a beauty. And I just ordered off of eBay an older 726 Mini. It's gray. It looks really good. Can't wait to, for it to get get here. I'm going to show it to y'all when it comes in. I, I was wanting to buy a new one, but they're out of stock. I want the color I wanted. I wanted black again, but all they have is orange and silver. I don't want no orange now. But this here, guys, is a Case XX Folding Hunter. And it has a broken tip. But we're going to use that tip right there. And, and we're going to curve it down. They've been grinding on it, looks like. But we're going to try to polish it up. That might be the original. I don't think that's the original tip. Yeah, it ain't the original tip. It'd be just as long as that blade. But we're going to use that, though. Comes down, curve it up like this. This here, it's like it's in that. I can't tell. Looks to be a 1972. It's got eight dots down there. It's stainless steel blades. And you see how the S in case is, the regular S. So the eight dots, that's 72. The handles are wood. Got a little chip out right there, but that's fine. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna bring this thing back to life. Give that a new edge right here. We're going to come from the bottom up, come up to this top right here, give it a new edge. Yeah, she's been used and abused. But it's, it's still a good knife. Just needs a good cleaning. It's gonna get some snap back. See how a bunch of rust and cruds up on on the springs right here. I I paid up a little little bit on this one, but it was thirty six bucks. I paid for it on eBay, but it's gonna clean up good. Let's go there on my fiber wheel and give it a initial cleaning. All right, she cleaned up pretty good. I'm going to see what the wire brush is going to do on this wood here. See if it'll brighten it up some. Hit it with some sandpaper now. Four hundred
is looking better. I'll spray it down with oil now. You know, I get a lot of comments like I shouldn't use rim oil on sheaths on, on, on leather. There's nothing wrong with putting rim oil on a dried up sheath and bringing it back to life, getting it soft again. And then once you do that, you condition it with wax and stuff like that. I understand that. Rim oil does not hurt a leather sheath. I've been doing it for at least 20 years. And I have yet to have a sheath fall apart. So, but I mean, do what y'all want to. But I like the rim oil. When I buy one and it's a leather sheath and it's dried up, this is what I use. I spray it down real good. It soaks it right in. Then I condition it with a wax. I keep it conditioned. So, but different strokes for different folks. Y'all use what you want, mink oil, mineral oil, whatever. But I'm going to continue to use rim oil when I find a dried up leather sheath. So, and I'm going to use rim oil on all my knives. Now we're gonna hit it with never door. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and do that tip. It's going to be a good looking knife. See how that wood is unshaped up? That wood loves that rim oil now. Just like leather does. Flitch time. All right, guys, here it is. 1972 Case Double X Folding Hunter. did that blaze best I could. You see somebody had ground that tip or ground that up around that existing tip that and I've sanded it down as best as I could but I gave it a really good edge. It looks really good on this side. But anytime you come from the bottom up it's going to be thick up here and you really got to give it another good fine edge down there on the near the end and I did. It's it's sharp. I had to work on that end a little bit. And again, I tried to get that grind out the best I could that they created. But it looks good. It's a good looking knife. Great looking knife. There's still some grind between the liners and the blades. That, that, that's going to have to be worked out. This, this knife was, see that right there? This knife was in need of some TLC bad. It was dry. The wood was dry. I even gave this blade a new edge too. Right there. That's sharp too. 
but you can tell it's clean now. Still has a little bit of grime in here. You can hear it like when the blade's close. It's got some good snap. Beautiful knife. Now I need to find me a sheath for it. But uh, it's got its, it's, it's battle scars now. It's, it's been used and abused, but it's still a great knife. Plenty of life left. Plenty of life. Stainless steel blades, 1972. Got the eight dots down there. It's pretty. I just wish I could have smoothed that on out and got it where that grind wasn't show, showing, but the best I could do on it, guys. Still looks good, though. Especially on this side. Can't even tell it was broke on this side, but the way they grind, grind that down, it's hard to get out. And I, I don't want to try to keep going because I could mess it up, you know. So, but you, you can see that edge I got on it. Looks good. Beautiful knife. Well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video today. I really enjoyed cleaning these knives up and repairing the tips. It's something I found on eBay. It was I paid like 36 bucks for it after shipping. It was probably about 40, but these knives are worth worth that all day long. Uh, good knife. I'm gonna have to find me a sheath for it now. Uh, but it really, really turned out good. Uh, but uh, on the auction, guys, I had a lot of good feedback on the live auction I want to do once a month. I have to sit on a Zoom call today to get um, on board with uh, whatnot. So it's going to be fun. And uh, I'm going to learn ab about it. So we might try to do one. Might try to do one this month. I don't know yet, but I know we're going to be doing one in February. So be on the lookout for it. I just want to thank all y'all, everybody's feedback on the, the auction. Uh, but also, guys, I'm going to be donating some of the proceeds to a veteran's charity for PTSD. Um, I'm researching some charities now, so I'll give y'all an update uh, before we do the auction. And uh, It's going to be fun. It's going to be going for a good cause, and uh, I'm going to really enjoy that. So it'll be a lot of fun, and... Uh, it's, it's, it's going to be going for a good call. So I can't wait to start. But thank y'all again, guys. Uh, but she cleaned up good, guys. She really did. And I just want to thank y'all for tuning in. I just want to thank y'all for all the views I get. I just want to thank y'all for whoever subscribed. Thank you to all my subscribers. Uh, I have the best subscribers. I'm like eight packages behind that I've got to open up that was sent in from subscribers. So I'm sorry, but I'm trying to include other content in. So tomorrow's video is going to be about me opening uh, a subscriber's package that was sent in. So uh, thank y'all again for uh, all these knives. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm sorry I haven't gotten them out as fast as I uh, would like to. But I like to include other content. So I hope y'all understand. Uh, but thank y'all again, guys. I just want to say God bless y'all. And until we meet again, y'all be like a good night. Stay sharp. Thank you.